Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss. Uh, with four games now in the rearview mirror, you know, just about a quarter of the way through the season, I'm pretty certain to state that I believe that we're reaching a culture shift now when it comes to how to handle the first couple of rounds of fantasy football drafts. And what do I mean by that? I hinted at this over the summer. In fact, I didn't even hint at it. I was, you know, screaming to the rafters about this. The days of drafting running backs uh, in the first round are over, in my opinion. Over. Done. This summer, I kept telling you, if you had an uh, early first-round pick, or a first-round pick for that matter in general, you have to draft a wideout, a Justin Jefferson, a Cooper Cup, a Debo Samuel, you know, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs, well, that Samuel Moore, second-round pick, but the other guys, all first-round picks. You have to use your first-round pick on a, on a wide receiver. The last two years in particular... The point has been driven home about how volatile and injury-prone the running back position is. I mean, 2021, Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley, David Montgomery, Alvin Kamara, Derrick Henry, all these prime uh, top 24 guys, running backs, went out injured, huge fantasy football bust, destroyed their teams, um, while the receivers balled out, the Justin Jeffersons, the Cooper Cups, the Stephon Diggs, the Devontae Adams, all did their thing. Uh, they were tremendous. Four games into the season, we we I have certainly seen enough evidence, and I think everybody else now has seen enough evidence that the days of the running backs being picked in the first round should be over. I'm done with it. I'm never going to draft. I'm, I'm, I won't say never, but for the foreseeable future, I am not even going to think about taking a running back in the first round at any point of the first round of the draft going forward. What I want to do is take a look in one of my leagues. I'm in two competitive leagues. Um, I went back and looked at the first three rounds, all right? Now, in the first round of this particular, this one particular league, um, 12 picks, PPR league, there were uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven running backs and five wide receivers chosen, all right? So the seven running backs, Jonathan Taylor first, so far has been a massive bust. Christian McCaffrey second. Other than this last game, he's been, it's been a little shaky, all right, he, but he hasn't been awful. But second overall, not had certainly not. <clears throat> Derrick Henry coming on strong now after a slow start, so I'll give him a pass. Uh, Austin Eckler, same thing. Uh, his running is leaves a lot to be desired, but he's catching a ridiculous amount of passes. So in PPR leagues, okay, I'm I'm fine with it. Dalvin Cook, he's been a bust, not catching the football, battling injuries already, not overly productive running the football either. Um, Joe Mixon. Not running the ball well at all. Averaging less than three yards per carry. It's total volume play for him. Um, Saquon Barkley, tremendous. Number one running back in fantasy football. So out of those seven backs that have been taken, you can make the case that um, two of them are, are hands down busts. Uh, two more, not coming close to, to making the grade. Now the receivers, on the other hand, um, Justin Jefferson, you know, he had, he had a little bit of a dip weeks two to three, but awesome week one and, and week two. I mean, in week four. Jamar Chase, uh, solid. Not the Jamar Chase of last year, but he's still been good. Uh, Stephon Diggs, tremendous. <clears throat> Devontae Adams, very good. Maybe not Green Bay good, but very good. And Cooper Cup, the best player in fantasy football, hands down. So all of the, not, no, no busts out of those receivers in the first round. Whereas at running back, you have two clear busts and two more that, to, didn't exactly meet expectations. Now let's go to round two. <clears throat> in round two now, uh, running backs in this particular league, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six backs went in round two. DeAndre Swift, big bust, huge bust. Now he's injured again, uh, wasn't getting goal line work, wasn't, wasn't even really involved heavily in the passing game. Alvin Kamara, huge bust. Rib injury in week one, hasn't played since. Um... Najee Harris, decent bust. He's getting the volume, but the numbers are not impressive at all. Huge dip in in, in catching the football. <clears throat> Javante Williams, massive bust. He's done for the season torn ACL. Just a real shame. And he even wasn't playing that great other than week one. Uh, Aaron Jones, solid, very good. Um, he, you know, AJ Dillon is still a problem for him, but uh, he's been he's been he's been pretty good. I can't really knock him. Leonard Fournette. Week one, very good. Week four, he eked it out in the fourth quarter. 
two and three, not good. But I still have faith in him. But Rashad White is now a thing, and he's eating into more, more and more of Fournette's workload. And and there's always injuries that we have to worry about with Fournette. So I would say that he has not met expectations. Um, now the receivers in round two in this particular league, C.D. Lamb, excellent, 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 excellent. Prescott goes down, we all panicked. He's been tremendous, even with Cooper Rush. Um, Debo Samuel, excellent. Last night was unbelievable. Mike Evans, excellent on the field. He had the suspension. That was dumb, but he was tremendous against the Chiefs. Huge, huge uh, red zone potential, as always. Um, and Keenan Allen, injured. You know, Keenan, In this particular league, Keenan Allen went late in the second round. I thought that was a reach, but um, he's been injured. You know, it hasn't really contributed anything. And then T. Higgins, tremendous. So Keenan Allen was a bust, uh, but every other receiver taken in this round has been has has met or exceeded expectations. Whereas the running back uh, running backs in this round, um, one, two, three tremendous busts: DeAndre Swift, Alvin Kamara, um, and Najee Harris. Aaron Jones, good. Leonard Fournette hasn't met expectations. Now round three, running backs: Travis Etienne, colossal bust. It's not happening. James Robinson, this is his backfield. And ETM, when he's gotten touches, has not been good. Uh, Nick Chubb, this has been the best pick of the draft so far among running backs, just because he went in the third round. He's right there with Saquon Barkley as the best running backs in fantasy football, even though he's still not catching passes. Uh, James Conner, bust. Just He has no juice in his legs, just none at all. I mean, he looks shot. Ezekiel Elliott, you know, he's scoring some touchdowns. He's getting the goal line work, but he too, he looks shot. Pollard, much better, uh, more explosive player. Uh, David Montgomery, bust. He's injured. Wasn't playing well before he got hurt. Khalil Herbert, I don't think. I don't know if Montgomery's going to get his job back. And then Cam Akers, bust. Massive bust. Just he completely sucks. <clears throat> so every, almost every running back around three has gone bust. Every running back around two pretty much went bust. And you know, two of the seven, maybe three of the seven around one busts. <clears throat> Receivers in round three. Uh, Mark Andrews with tight end, he was he's been tremendous. Michael Pittman, um, good two games, not good the other two games. It's been a little inconsistent for him, not great. Tyreek Hill, tremendous. Um, AJ Brown, tremendous. Um, Josh Allen went in this round too, tremendous. The only the only receiver bust, DJ Moore, not good. So, as you can tell, almost every receiver in the first three rounds this year has met or exceeded expectations. More than half the running backs have failed to meet expectations or have been out-and-out out busts. It's that stark. And I think it's just going to get worse. Some of these guys who are still standing are just are going to get hurt. That's just the name of the position. Whereas receivers, the very little uh, injury risk compared to, to running back. I wouldn't say little, but much less pronounced injury risk than, than again, uh, when it comes to running backs who are always hurt. So again, we've reached this point now where I think <clears throat> going wide receiver, wide receiver next year is not the worst thing in the world. Or wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end. Look at some of these running back values. Khalil Herbert, Jeff Wilson. I mean, there's, there's huge, huge values now. James Robinson, uh, Jamal Williams. And this is what happens. And I said this over the summer. When a, you can get difference-making running backs off waivers all throughout the season. Very rarely can you get a receiver off waivers that makes a big difference the rest of the way. It just doesn't happen. So that's my take on it. Hit the subscribe, hit the notification button. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. I appreciate it. Um, let's hear what your thoughts on this. Do you agree or disagree? All right. We'll talk soon. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say.